Hey, you know? Paul, maybe I'm fucking happy. How about that? You know, a lot of maybe these I'm not, Paul, Listen to me. Maybe yeah. I'm happy because I just fucking ordered my dream truck. I just yeah. ordered it. I'm getting no, you know, you know, You know what they say, too? I'll tell you what. And this is true in some sense. But they go, a lot of these millionaires, they're fucking miserable. These fucking millionaires, they got fucking, they're fucking miserable. Their wives fucking don't love them. They're fucking miserable. And it's like, yeah, but there are millionaires that their wives do love. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, everything, right, you though. Said, everything that you said sounds like shit that I heard in bars growing up. I used yeah. to always hear stuff like that. Yeah, and exactly. And no, that's you're not listening to me, Paul. That's what I ordered my dream car yesterday. You said truck. Yeah, my dream car growing up. You know, you're a four-door sedan guy. My yeah. dream car was a Ford F-250. Regular cab with the lights on top. Yeah. I got the giant diesel engine. I'll be able to pull a house in this thing. I can't fix anything, Paul. Did you get it? You uh, got the car? What, what color? I, or I ordered it. What color? I'm not saying that on the podcast because I don't need fucking people... Looking, I never say anything more than that. I just, I fucking ordered the thing. You know, I, I'm not going to be allowed to keep it at the house. You know, I finally got it. My wife goes, because uh, I already have the 68 F100. No, what yeah. did she say to me? She goes, she goes, yeah, you already have a truck. You don't need another truck. And I go, you already have a bag. You don't need another bag. And she just goes, because he was that look, and then she started laughing. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is this is my fucking whatever, you know, my fucking Hermes bag or whatever the fuck they're into. Dude, yeah, I can't already... wait for that. You know what thing is my you got 100 son. shoes. You got a hundred shoes. Can I get two trucks? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck do I care? No. When my kids get old enough, I'm gonna get rid of my car. I'm just gonna drive the big fucking thing. Anyway, uh, plus my son, dude. And my, my daughter love, absolutely love riding in my truck. Like my son, like my daughter, I was driving her, like I go up the street where there's no traffic, you know, because it just has the lap belt. And uh, there's, you know, there's like nobody on the road. I'm driving like fucking six miles an hour or whatever. And she said to me, she goes, Dad, she goes, you have the biggest truck in the whole wide world. It's just, it's a, it's a two-wheel drive short bed. And I was driving by, I think that truck's a little better. She's like, no, dad, this is the biggest truck in the whole world. And then my son, I just pull it out of the garage, you know, start it up, keep the engine, you know, um, the battery from not dying. And I just sit there revving the engine and he stares at the, my foot. And when it makes the noise, he smiles. And then he looks up at me. He fucking, he freaked out the other day, right? Uh, he saw a fire engine. It was parked on the side of the road. He just went like, whoa, and he was talking all this gibberish, pointing at it. And the guy inside turned the lights on, and my son was literally jumping up and down on the sidewalk, and all the firefighters were cracking up. Oh, that's great. That's it's the last cool thing that he did. He's the coolest kid ever. Like, my daughter, because she's older, gets on me about smoking cigars. She kind of laughs, but she goes, Dad, I don't want you smoking cigars. Right? But my son saw me smoking, and he was laughing. He thought it was funny. And then, then he would go like this. You know, as I blow the smoke out, he'd go, this... <laughs> And start laughing. And I was oh, looking boy. at him going like, oh, my God, I'm going to smoke cigars with him someday. Oh, that's nuts. Dude, I haven't had a cigar since the Masters. How wild is that? I wish I could say that, dude. I probably smoke one every day since then. I'm trying to fucking everyone. You know, you know, it gets a hold of you. It's got a hold of me, man. I got to fucking lay off him. Yeah, I uh, I've had. Oh, my God. I had two drinks in six, seven weeks, and I had two days of drinking in seven weeks and no cigars since April. And, uh, yeah, man, what could you say? I'm trying to fucking look better. It's, I don't want to be a piece of shit, dude. You know, <laughs> I've run around my kids. I, I don't think I'm a piece of shit, Paul. No, I said I don't want to be. You look like I a know, fucking you, prize but, fighter at your, but I'm at fucking, your way. I'm, I'm doing the things that you're saying you're not doing, and then you say, you know, you you're not drinking. Like, you're not, how, you're, how, how the it's supposed to make me feel Paul. <laughs> I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Um, I'm like, yeah, I smoked a cigar at a good time. And, yeah, I haven't smoked one in six weeks. I don't want to be a piece of shit. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. <laughs> well, dude, what? You haven't had a drink in how long? Are you going four years? 
Four no, years in November. Not four years. Oh my God, dude. That's a college career. You're, just, you're about to go a college career, dude. Four years. How many days is that, Andrew? 365 times four. Holy Too many. shit. Paul, I'm coming back. One day I'm coming back. I'm coming back hard. Oh, dude. Bill's going to get back in the batter's box. <laughs> the most hammered I got with you is when we left Madison Square Garden after ball. the Ranger game. Oh, I mean, we were staggering like we were, it was like Rocky and Apollo in fucking Rocky 2 when they both went down. We were walking to here. No, the <laughs> Liars were... Club. That was the most drunk I ever was. No, I, I don't miss. Uh, yeah, I, I miss drinking alone. <laughs> That's the way to do it. You drink alone. You don't piss anybody off. You're at home. No one can shut you off. That's how a pro does it. You go out to the bar. You drink. You end up fucking getting into it. You start yelling about sports and shit. This is just my own personal opinion. Oh, my, my God. I got experience. a great story. You just reminded me. So our sponsor, Diet Smoke, they'll like hearing this. My buddy had the Ranger game on, projected on a movie theater screen in his backyard, game, game six, uh, the one that they lost. And I wasn't drinking a lot, so I had like one seltzer, but I'm, I got to watch everything here and, and all the acid reflux. So I had the gummies because I gave them to my neighbor, and he goes, dude, these are like just kind of THC with very little hemp. And I go, all right. He goes, you want them back? And I go, yeah, I'll take them back then. Because I gave one to my neighbor. I gave some to my neighbor. And I goes, you want them back? So, dude, I took, it's 10 milligrams. I cut a gummy in half because I'm scared. You know, I do drugs scared. I always have. And I take it. And I'm like, all right, this is 45 minutes later, dude. I felt so chill. I had no pain and no worries. I, was, I wasn't paranoid. I didn't have that weed fucking, is everybody, I didn't have that. And I'm just chilling. So I drank another seltzer. I'm like, let me take another half for this fuck. Let me take the other half, which is, you know, 10 milligrams. So I take the other half and everything is cool. And I'm away. I'm down the block, six houses down, whatever. I feel fantastic. I come home. I'm relaxed. No worries. It was weird. I felt, felt great. So I go into bed and Stacy says something to me. And I just said something to, I swear to God, I swear to God, my wife is fucking incredible. She, I haven't been on it. I never haven't taken edibles in, in, in nine years, whatever it is, eight years. And I lay in bed and she said something to me. And I go, and she goes, I go, I said something back. And she just goes, are you all right? And I go, yeah, I'm fine. And she goes, uh, she goes, did you take something? Did you take like an edible? I swear to God. And I go, I go, no. And then we kind of, she started, we got into something, but I was ca calm. Right. So she said something to me. And I just go, you know, good night. I'll see you. Like, and she just said the, ne the next day, she goes, I go, dude, I took those edibles. She goes, oh my God, Paul. She goes, I knew, she goes, I've never seen you that relaxed. She goes, I kind of went at you. And she goes, for the first time in our marriage, she goes, you were just so calm and cool. You didn't say anything back. And she goes, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> she, goes, she goes, I said something to you that normally there's no way you wouldn't. She goes, you were fucking chill. She goes, you were just, and I go, yeah. I go, so I'll tell you what, diet smoke, man. See, that's the only way that a guy like me, because I'm such a fucking over, I'll start panicking. Dude, that diet smoke, I felt fantastic. No worries, dude. No fucking worries, dude. Just calm. Everything was good. Everything was nice. It was like, a, it was like being on Coke, but mellow, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> 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 Andrew fell out of his chair. Uh, it did not make any sense whatsoever. Uh, um, I felt happy like I was on Coke, but mellow, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> you get happy. It's 10 milligrams per gummy. I had to confirm. I just wanted people to know. So you ate five, you ate half, which is five. I bit, I bit half, and then I had, and then I had another one, and it was, and it was fantastic. Yeah. And guys that are really into it took two of them which was 20 and they were fine acted like it's fine but i can't fuck around like that you know yeah, what I mean? yeah your tolerance goes up 